This is a Predator antenna. It says SW model. It stands for short whip. It is approximately four and a half feet long with the whip inserted. It is aircraft aluminum. It is extremely high quality antenna. It has two loads. First load being here, second load being here. This top load actually shortens the antenna from about six and a half to seven feet long on the single coil antennas down to four and a half feet or so on the double coil antennas. There are no press fittings on this antenna. You have one connection here, a connection here, two connections here, and a connection here. Everything is threaded. There is no press fits. Unlike other antennas, which may have lower quality aluminum, they'll have to make it solid. The antenna is heavier in weight. These are extremely lightweight antenna being aircraft aluminum. And a press fit is, tends to be just a, a lower quality type design. If you find yourself with an application, say you want to change your antenna mounting location, and for one mounting location, a six inch shaft was correct, but the other location, it takes a 12 inch shaft, for example. With a press fit design, you are basically stuck. With this antenna design, this shaft is removable. It is threaded and it is removable so that you can change it. Now you might wonder, well, what's the significance of the shaft length? It is extremely important to have this coil even with or slightly above the top of the vehicle. Where, wherever you are mounting it, you never want this portion of the coil to be below the top of the vehicle. This is where the majority of the signal radiates from. It doesn't equally radiate from the bottom of the antenna to the top of the antenna. The majority of the signal radiates off the antenna right here. You utilize the vehicle's roof as a ground plane. So for the SWRs to set correctly, for the performance of the antenna to be a high dB gain system on transmit, this coil really does need to be at the right height. It is critical.